Okay, we have this question. A baseball diamond is in a square with side 90 feet. A batter hits the ball and runs toward first base with a speed of 24 feet per second. At what rate is his distance from second base decreasing when he is halfway to first base? Now, we're going to draw a diagram. And as you... As you'd know, it's in the form of a diamond. Uh, we're going to call this base one, base two, base three, and base four. Uh, now, this is a pretty common question you get in related rates, and we we let x uh, equals uh, the distance uh, the batter has run at time t. So it, we know this distance to be x and the remainder being 90 minus x we know this length fully to be 90 and that we're going to name that to be some value of d okay so as you can see it's forming a right angle triangle so we're going to let x uh, equal some distance the batter has run at time t and d being the distance uh, to second base uh, at uh, again time t now we know dx over dt we know from the question so we'll name this to be dx over dt to be equal to 24 and we want to know uh, its distance from second base when that is what we're trying to work out uh, when x equals 45 now from Pythagoras' theorem from this diagram we know that the d squared, so d squared will equal to uh, 90 minus x squared uh, plus 90 squared. And if we differentiate with respect to t, we will get 2d uh, dd over dt being equal to 290 minus x and we'll get a negative value as 1 thus simple chain rule principles and that will be dx over dt now we can solve for well, well the 2's will cancel off and I'll write the next step of when it's simplified. We will get d dd over dt being equal to negative 90 minus x dx over dt. Now, when uh, x equals 45, we will get D being equal to the um, square root of 90 minus 45 squared plus 90 squared. That's under the square root. And that will come out to be some value. Um, without using a calculator, I'm just going to leave it as is. And by substituting in, uh, sorry, by 
putting that back into this equation we've got here, we can solve for dd over dt, as we will know dx over dt to be uh, 24 from our constraint, or our question rather, we will get the following dd over dt will be equal to uh, negative 45 being multiplied by 24 and that is all over uh, the square root of 45 squared plus 90 squared and that's under the square root we will get an answer of roughly negative 10.73 feet per second and that is our answer